Hi and welcome to my channel Last with Mind. Today I chose a theme and it's called the law of attraction. I'm pretty sure you heard of it or read about it and I know it's circling on YouTube, online, in books and as you can see I was very interested in this theme. These are just some of my books on this uh, theme and I watched a lot of videos because I really wanted to understand I have a passion to understand the mind and the brain how it works and how for someone is possible to get things in life and for others is more like a struggle so um, the law of attraction when you talk to someone about it they start to say that it's voodoo or something strange and not possible and real and um, if you give it a thought or two and if you actually just stay there and you think that you're going to meditate and just attract things to yourself Yes, it's most likely to be um, just something that it's unreal because if you look, look at this law of attractions, you'll see that there are several of them and uh, there each of them are correlated. So you cannot really just apply one law and then uh, wait for it just to happen. So um, I was uh, reading and watching and I was trying to understand this law because who doesn't want to attract what they want in their life, right? And um, I found it interesting that uh, the law of attraction actually works with other laws for, together. So, uh, you know, many people uh, say like, um, I cannot find him right now, but, oh, uh, like, um, enter code in his book now. He says that, um, it's very popular on YouTube. He says that, um, uh, Jesus said that um, if you, when you pray for something, you have to believe it like it's now, give me now, not tomorrow. So you have to believe it's right now and um, uh, then it's going to happen. But um, it's interesting that um, also if we talk about Jesus, Jesus also gave us um, the other things we should do in order to be blessed, right? And so is the law of attraction. So um, the law of attraction says that you need to believe in it and you need to feel it and you need to feel like it's already happened. So for example, let's say you want to eat the cake, you need to feel that you ate the cake, how it tastes, what, what gives you, right? And then it's going to happen. But also you want to think if you're going to stay home and just wishing for the cake, not necessarily will happen, you know, it's, you're going to have to do something, you either bake the cake or you go to a store and buy the cake, right? Or you call someone or text someone or tell someone you wanted the cake. And sometimes they bring examples where they say that, oh, I wanted strawberries. I, I read in a book, I forgot which book, but it says a woman wanted strawberries so much and she told everyone. So one day she was just feeling how she's eating the strawberries and a friend left the strawberries on the porch. So I know from real life, from my experience, that when I hear someone who I know that they want something, and if I hear it often enough um, in my heart, I would want to make them feel um, appreciated or maybe happy. So I'll go buy that for them, right? And I, of course, if they want a house, probably won't be able to do that. But, but if they want something reasonable and not too expensive, or for example, someone says, oh, I haven't had Starbucks in a while. So I, in my heart, I can, when I go to a Starbucks, I can grab some for them too. So this is um, how the law works. It's kind of you feel it and you want it so much and you feel how it feels if you got it that it's happening. And so then um, the law of uh, creation, allowing, vibrating, divine oneness, action, correspondence, cause and effect, and com uh, compensation and gender. All these laws, actually what they do, they break down what you need to do in order to attract what you want. And for you to attract what you want, you have to be, let's say, let's pick one, divine honest oneness. So what it says that everything is in one mind or one um, one source, like uh, you're one with the universe, right? But then again, um, the universe or God has laws, right? So uh, let's say someone is a um, and does everything wrong in their life. Um, we cannot say that they are exactly in the same level with what God expects or what the universe expects because we can see so many things that are beautiful around us. And, and if we go back to the Bible, it just said you need to love your enemies, you need to do this, you need to be like that, or don't don't uh, um, kill, don't do, don't wish well to other, uh, don't wish bad for other people. I'm sorry. And 
this is what it means. It means that you have to align yourself or your personality with what's good in order for you to be same uh, with the God or universe. And I understand that many people would say that um, there are bad people who have everything. But yes, they do. But how do they get it? They get it by suppressing others or by doing bad things or irritating. But if we talk about the normal, regular people who are actually good at heart and they want to do something in their life, they actually need to make some changes. So, for example, if you're going to be, there's the law of... Um, Correspondence. So, for example, uh, let's say uh, if um, I want, if I'm like always happy and I always want to do something good for other people, or I meet people, so I'm always nice about them, and I don't look for conflicts. And those people will see me, and they will um, most likely um, have the same um, vibration. Here we go. We talk about love vibration around us. So, if you do something bad. Usually, like let's say, if the, you scream or you hit someone, what's gonna happen? Yeah, you might not get the reaction, but most likely those people will avoid you. So what these laws are saying that if you want to get something, you actually have to work for it. You have to get up and you have to go and do something, and that's the law of cause and effect. So, for example, cause and effect. Um, you cannot expect uh, to improve your life if you don't do something, and they have the law. Of creation allowing so when you allow something it's like you actually stay there and you actually work on your feelings on what you think about yourself many people think that they are uh, they can't achieve something because they feel that they are not competent or someone tells them that they are not competent but then in this book uh, bending reality when I bought it I thought I'm gonna read it and not be able to bend the reality like that what the book says actually is how to work on yourself in order to bend the reality. And that means uh, that um, if you have in yourself beliefs that hold you tight, not to take action or not uh, beliefs that, you know, limit you, then you cannot bend reality. And bending reality doesn't mean you're going to be like, okay, today I'm here and I want to be a millionaire. I'm there. Or today I'm here and I want to be a doctor. I'm there. Not gonna happen like that what's gonna be it's like you have to actually work on what is making you stay back so you have to work on your feelings on your thoughts on everything and this is what will bring you the law of attraction closer to you so i want i wanted also to say that about this book the power of conscious of your subconscious mind by joseph murphy it's very interesting. This is the same thing. Um, it talks about law of attraction and how we can achieve everything we put our mind to. And uh, yes, you can. If you actually work on your mind and you actually work on yourself and you do steps, every, all these laws, if you take it separately, then it's not working. So you have, in order for you to have access to the law of attraction, you have to actually fulfill all the other laws, you know, like you need to do the cause and effect. So you have, if you want this job and these are the uh, all the steps you need or well qualifications, then um, you're going to have the effect of the job if you take the step to achieve that knowledge. For example, learn QuickBooks or learn IT or whatever you're learning. And that will bring, that will bring you the job. It's not going to be that you want to be, for example, I don't know, I don't even know what to say, but you want to be the vice president of Tesla. You can't go there and just be vice president of Tesla because you want to. You have to have the qualifications because um, uh, anyone who runs a company wants their company to succeed. They won't take just a person because they want to do that. So then then is this law of in, uh, gender. So it says that um, uh, we all have male and female um, genders inside us. As in, like, for example, if it's your ego working it's more masculine power and if um, you're being like soft and it's more feminine power so what this law says is that you need to regulate you have to have a balance you need to know when you need to actually take action and when to pull back and you need to nurture everything you want to do and sometimes get, uh, get abrupt uh, steps for example if you have a bad ha a habit i believe the uh, masculine uh, gender in you should be more potent because you have to cut you know the um the habit and then if uh, for example you 
are trying um, you're trying to work on your anger issues then it's going good 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 and then one day you just got angry and you're like oh my god i'll never change in this case you need the feminine uh, power in you because you need to nurture that you can you need to say that yes i i tried so hard with this and today i slept i oh it didn't work but i'll do okay better in the next time so that's how, you know, it's basically these laws are teaching you that you need to sit down with yourself and think about how you are, what qualities you don't like, first of all, what qualities you need to succeed, what do you think, how do you think your life is going to be? And then from there you go on steps and working towards how to fix what you don't like about yourself, how to add to what you like or how to improve your qualities, and then if you see your life to be nice and beautiful and prosperous, then you have to do the steps for that. So this loss is not just like you sit there and you just believe, meditate, and it's going to happen. It's something that you need to take action. So when you read all these books and when you watch actually all the laws, not just one, then you will see that um, Although the universe works in your favor, and I, I totally agree with that. Like I have things in my life that I really wanted and it happened, but it didn't happen without me taking some steps too. And um, uh, all this loss is teaching us that we need to take steps. If we don't take the steps, then we are not going to be able, we're just not going to be able to achieve it. You cannot just stay home and sleep all day and then all of a sudden your life changed. You have to do something. and. Um, all the people that we know that are rich or famous or have something or they are not just because they woke up in the morning and they said, hey, I, today I want to be this and it just happened. It took years, it took years of work. So all this, if you want to really take something from these laws, actually you can read about them and watch about them, but it's mostly you work on yourself, you work on the future you want. And you have to cut out what you don't want in your future and you have to add what you want in your future and you just constantly work and it's a hard it's hard work because there will be times when you try to do something and you have setbacks and then you see it's interesting because in the law of attraction it says that you're gonna if you want this you need to really want it and feel it and all that but you need to know there's gonna be setbacks so this already tells us that this law of attraction or any other laws they're not set on stone it's something you work progressively towards. So this is what is my intake on this loss. And I really hope you enjoyed it. You can comment if you think differently, or maybe give me some suggestions and want to read next. Maybe I didn't get yet the book or I didn't watch the video that could actually give me more insight.